Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you some helpful tools and some time-saving tricks in Live 2D. So we're going to get straight into it with Reflect Motion. Now this is an extremely important time-saving tool, especially for parts like the face. We can get a perfectly symmetrical left and right by using this tool and it also saves you the time and effort of setting up both sides. So we're going to use this here as an example. Let's say I haven't set up my face deformer for looking this way, but I have for this way. So what you're going to want to do is set up one angle X. So we're going to do it on this side. And then with this selected, we're going to open up this menu here, and then we're going to select Reflect Motion. It'll pop up with this window here. It's going to have a bit of information on here, so it's going to have which deformer it's going to affect. You might want to double check that in case you selected the wrong one, as well as what parameter it's going to reflect. So it's going to reflect our angle X at 30, and it's going to reflect that onto the opposite end, so it's going to be minus 30 that it's going to affect. And then we're going to choose reflect horizontally, since we want this to be reflected from right to left. And then all we need to do is press OK. And you'll see it highlighted yellow and red here. And when you try it, it will just do it automatically for you. Now one important thing to note with this feature is it will not work for parts that are not symmetrically moving. So for example with my head it's fine because left and right is going to be the exact same opposites. Whilst with a part like the eye for example, since it squishes in on this side, it will try to squish it into the other side as well, so it won't have the same effect. Another thing with the reflect motion is it's helpful when you're setting up your head angles for up and down as well. Now I would not use this to reflect it vertically, that's because when you face up and down it's actually going to deform a little bit differently. However, once you synthesize your corners and you've got everything set up, you can actually reflect it from this side to this side. So you can see here it's not reflected, I want to fix that. You have to unlink them first and make sure your angle Y is at the top here. Reflect. We'll try that. There we are. So it makes it extra easy to set up the corners on things like the face as well. Alright, so my next tool that I'm going to be showing off is called Extended Interpolation. So this is something that I figured out how to do recently, and it is extremely helpful. So you're going to find the most use for this in parts like your hair bangs, or the top face angles from left to right. Basically it's going to cause things to move at more of a curvature than a straight line. As standard, Live 2D will move things in a straight line rather than in a curve. What we can do is select our parameter here and our deformer and with that selected we're going to scroll down to the bottom and it says extended interpolation. So everything will be defaultly set at linear and we have two selections here, Eclipse and SNS. SNS allows you a little bit more control over the points However, most of the time you're just going to use the Eclipse here and that's going to add a bunch of points between our keyframes here You'll see these little blue dots and basically this is going to allow it to move at more of a curve You can also increase or decrease the amount of points if you need to fine tune your movement as well For this one we don't need that much because it's not moving too much But if let's say if you are trying to make mo something move in a circle or closer to a circle you'll want more points to smooth out that movement and that's going to allow it to look a lot more natural moving because the head does move at a curve on the top angles and like I said this is also extremely helpful for the hair because the hair does move in a curve as well especially for the physics And the next little tip that I want to go over, which I didn't actually cover in my physics video, was this duplicate tool in the physics settings. So this is especially helpful if you're going to have parameters, for example, for your left eye and right eye. You want a physics group for both, but you want them to be the same. Instead of going back and forth trying to set everything up the same, you can just press duplicate on the ones that you've already made. 
Let's change that to right eye, for example. This is going to completely copy everything over into this new group. And of course, you will need to change this to I write, for example. And then for the outputs, you're going to change this to your right output settings. I also use this for things like hair groups. So my fringe and my side hair have the same physics settings, as well as the X and Y. Another thing is the use of inverted mask. So you may notice when you're setting up your clipping in Live2D that there's an option right below the clipping ID here which says invert mask. And I actually have it selected on this one. So ordinarily you would clip an object to another object. For example, I have my face shader and the clipping ID is the face color. This works the opposite with the inverted mask. So for example, when I have my head moving upwards, the line is cut away. And this is done using an inverted mask. So basically, we have this object here, which is at 0% opacity. So the face line is clipped to this shader here, which is this object that I've got. If I invert it, it's going to make it disappear. This is because it's trying to act like a normal clipping group, where it would clip to this bit down here. The invert mask is going to do the opposite. So this allows us to use this object here to cut away at this line. And this way you can set up some neat effects, like the head moving up and cutting away at the face here. Just so you can get that extra 3D-ish feel. And lastly, there is a brand new tool in this version of Live2D which makes mesh creation a little bit easier. If you haven't watched my mesh creation video, I'd highly recommend it, because this sort of goes hand in hand with that. It makes it a bit easier to do straight lined mesh, but as long as you know how to add on to that, you can make your mesh creation a lot faster and a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this mesh first. So here we have the eyebrow, and there's a really easy way to do this. We could do this the manual way, you know, doing our dots. Or we can use this tool up here, the stroke mesh mapping. And what we can do is we can draw a line like so, and you'll see that it's got these green points here. We can click and drag these into the position we want. And you can add extra points if you've got curves, like so. Just by selecting the line, basically. And you'll see that it's automatically bending the mesh to where we want it. You can also change this with the settings here. So we can change the width to how we'd like. And we can also increase or decrease the amount of dots on the mesh here. You can also change between 1 and 3 the amount of vertices. So you can have it like this, like this, or even like that. And you can even invert it if you have a different shape. And the neat thing is you can click off it and confirm, and it will just stay as a mesh. And you can draw another part if you needed to. So those were just a few little helpful and time-saving tips and tools in Live2D. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. These are things that I tend to forget myself, so it is handy to have it as a backup. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of the tools I mentioned in this video, do feel free to leave us a comment. And if you're looking for more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to our channel. We'd super appreciate it. And don't forget to give this a like if you need to come back to it at any time. It's easier than searching it up, I imagine. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy the new model as well. <laughs> I will still be using my old Tala model as well. This is just the other side of me. <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful journey in live TV.